your maiden speech here at the Bundestag, what was it about? It was about Ireland. Ireland uh, wants to repay their um, IMF loan fully. And uh, that's uh, only reasonable because the market interest rate is much lower than the IMF interest rate. And uh, the problem, however, is that they don't collect the money from Apple. So basically my political group said um, we are willing to assist uh, Ireland as we were opposed to the austerity measures and to the bailout of the banks in the first place. But uh, if we do that, then we also want to see that you're really um, ending uh, corporate uh, tax avoidance and this is why we criticize the German government for offering the Irish government to repay their IMF loans first while not serving the other European creditors but saying nothing on tax policy and the hypocrisy of the German government is really that whenever there was a so-called rescue package they never rescued uh, the um, pensioner in Ireland or whosoever, they, they, they rescued Anglo-Irish and other banks, also German banks. They dictated um, uh, fire sales of uh, public assets, they dictated um, uh, cuts in pensions and wages and public investment, but on the um, tax policy they say there's nothing we can do and this is really hypocrisy and this is why we criticize the decision of the German government. Uh, the Greens agreed with you on this? No, they did not because they were still, uh, well, crying over their uh, Jamaica talks and um, they still wanted to keep one foot uh, in the uh, coalition game. So they basically supported the CDU together with the Liberals on granting the Irish government that favor without asking uh, for um, reconsidering their stance on the Apple case. Do you think that's consistent with the line they've taken previously? No, it's absolutely not consistent. You cannot basically uh, lambast the Irish government over um, the Apple issue and then when you have a tool to really put diplomatic pressure on Ireland, you don't use it. That's uh, double, uh, double speech.